A former world number one and French Open champion, at his best, Juan Carlos Ferrero was one of the game's great players. Possessing incredible speed, Ferrero won 16 ATP World Tour titles before retiring in 2012. Carlos was a, a great athlete, first and foremost. He got around the court as quickly as anybody. He was a, a, a powerful player, and, and when he was on, he was rough. Ferrero was a very, very good player. Very good player. French Open champion, world number one. You don't, you don't get those things without being a good player. He changed the mentality of the Spanish player uh, to open the door for guys like Ferrer and, uh, and obviously Nadal. Ferrero is still deeply involved in the sport. Last year, he opened the second of his tennis academies in Shenzhen, China, a project close to his heart. Always it's, it's important to have somebody to, you know, to, uh, if you want it to be like him, okay, it doesn't matter if it's me or Agassi or Roger Federer or Rafa Nadal. In Asia, always uh, I felt a lot of support in me, so we see a big opportunity to have a big academy. I uh, try to work with them and uh, try to, to have uh, one of the best or maybe the best academy, academy in, in Asia and maybe one of the uh, best of the world uh, in the future. I think it's a great, uh, great chance for, for the Chinese tennis to, to, to learn a lot for such a great player. And uh, I think he's really involved in that project. I think he is going to China quite often. I think he's going he's gonna to do a great job there. Ferrero inspired a generation of Spanish players with his style. But he was the product of a strong academy system in Spain that continues to produce champions. I think they teach the game in general as well as anybody does. And um, you, know, you, you take that mentality and that, that work ethic and you, and you uh, implant it into, uh, into China. Uh, I think there's really good things ahead then. We have uh, very, good, very good academies in Spain, very good weather that uh, like this we can, we can practice the whole year uh, in a good conditions, very good coaches. And the most important thing, we have a lot of tournaments, small tournaments like Future, that the people that, uh, we are, that uh, they're young, they have the opportunity to, to be on the tour uh, very soon. There are so many great players on the ATP World Tour today, but one stands out for Ferrero, a contemporary of his, who shows no signs of slowing down. For me, the best is Roger Federer, and I enjoy always to watch him playing, and uh, it's, I think it's, when I was playing against him, it's one of the best I enjoyed, even when I was playing against him, and uh, on TV, when I watch him, it's, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Juan Carlos is giving back to the game, but there are some things you can never replace. The victories, maybe, and, uh, how the people enjoy when you are playing in, in the big stadiums and uh, you know it's this kind of feeling to see the people screaming and uh, applauding and uh, you know enjoying a lot it's it's that kind of moment I, I, I miss. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered we've got all the action as Australia crowns its champion for 2015. And don't miss our date with a living legend we speak to one of the all-time greats, Rod Laver. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.